Hi, uh, welcome to Retro Tech Guardian. In this video, we're going to be having a, a little look and trying to fix uh, this Danzat FM stereo cassette player. Um, just a, a simple little FM stereo radio with a cassette player. You notice it's not a recorder. There is no record function anywhere. Uh, it has dual headphone sockets, a little stereo light for when it's tuned into stereo. If we just show you the buttons on the top, there you go. Uh, someone's put a screw through the battery cover. I think it originally probably did have one, but this is the wrong screw and it just keeps popping out when you put the batteries in, but it does work with batteries. But today I'll be powering it up with a little uh, power supply. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so uh, we'll give it a test as is. We'll try it first. So, there's no speaker built in, um, headphones aren't going to work, so uh, I've got a little Bose speaker here, so we're going to plug that in, and in here we have, for the power supply, we have our power lead, there you go, now on this you'll notice that it's uh, DC in, six volt and it's negative tip so uh so I'm gonna plug these in we'll turn it on now i know the polarity of that the red wire on this is uh the center pin uh so that's red and the black is the outside because this was a center pin um, power supply. Power supply no longer works, so I thought, well, I'll just cut that off and use that for these. So that goes in there. So we're going to put the negative from the power supply onto the positive lead here um, so that we make that center pin negative instead. And we'll put that one in. Now we'll plug the connector into headphone socket a we'll turn battery 80%. the speakers on we'll turn this to six volts so oh it's on radio already so turn that back down so we're on six volt <clears throat> um now if we try and press play nothing happens you can hear a bit of background noise there uh it's got fast forward nothing happens and then rewind again nothing happens so i assume it needs a new belt so and there's your eject so we'll take the tape out for now now we'll flip this over to fm stereo radio now this is going to act as our aerial, so if we get it up somewhere up there, we might be able to tune that in a bit better. You tune here, there's a tiny window there that shows you the frequency range you're on. And I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, there you go. So they obviously need to clean. That's your volume sliders. For your left and right yeah they definitely need a clean uh, the mute button works so you have to keep your finger on it to mute it so anyway it's not powering up it's uh, the drives not working the, so we'll turn that off while we do this and we'll uh, quickly take this apart so we'll start taking this battery compartment off take that out and then we've got four screws on the back here so we'll undo these four uh, all right okay that screw was shorter than that one so the short screw goes next to the battery label <clears throat> undo this one 
and that's the same size as that one so that's okay and that's the same size as that one so that's okay so that's those undone so let's see how that comes apart let's oh there we go so much moving There you go, that just pulls off. Uh, there's your battery connections. There's your battery connections on the bottom. So that's just nothing attached. So that can go up there out the way. And there you have the back of the circuit board. Now, looking at that, yeah, you can feel that's very, very stiff. Uh, right, let's just plug this back in. Turn this back on. Now with no tape in, does that move? Ah, the motor spinning. But as you can see, oh, that's a bit stiff. Oh, hold on. Why is that around there? So it does move a little bit. So let's just stop that. For some reason. Don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> the belts come off the wheel there and it's going around something else up there so let's have a look at that why is that there has that just been caught round something else there ah it has so there you go, someone else must have been at this at some point. Oh wow, <clears throat> now I've taken it off that, you can see how loose that is. So we'll get that plugged in. We'll try that again. And now you can see that spinning. You can see it moves when I turn it by hand. You can see how floppy that belt is. Right. So, the stop button, by the way, doesn't stop the rewind and fast forward, only stops the play. So, <clears throat> okay, so we'll undo that again. Turn that back off for a sec. Now, to get that off, I'm having a look. It looks like this front piece just... Yep, I can see a little clip just under here. And it does look like that's coming off. But, uh, also under here I can see, oh there's a screw missing there, but there's two in at the top here. So, someone's obviously been in this before, there's a screw missing just there. Now, this is just a simple, there's no spring attached to the actual... Um, lid so let's just i can see that needs pulling out there let's try and do it without breaking anything that would be nice so if we get that one on there we go yep they're not broke so as you can see, those little clips aren't broke. So there's two screws in here. Oh, I dropped my screwdriver, that was clever. I'll use this one instead then. So. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So they're a bit shorter. So those two short ones, I assume this is the same. Yes. So those two short ones go there. Now I would imagine that this would come away from that aha uh -huh. it does but this needs to be out of the way so can i get my thumb in there and lift that out which side comes out easier i think that's it uh, aha uh -huh. there we go that's coming out so that's come out of there That's coming out of there. It's gone back 
Can you? Difficult. Aha. There you go. So that. Oh, it's attached to the power LED. And they're soldered on. Difficult. So we'll just leave that to the side. Now, I wouldn't mind having a look into here if we can. Aha, that does come off. And there's your battery terminals connected. So there's your motor and your mechanism. Oh, stop button wants to fall out, so we'll let that fall out. That must be the stop and the jack mechanism. You can just see that lifting up. So, okay. Now I do want to clean those sliders. Oh yeah, you can see the dirt on them. You see that slider just up there? Just let me hold that all together if I can. There you go. You can just see where that's moving. Look, that silver piece is moving there. You can see how dirty that looks. I've got some contact cleaner there. We'll have a go cleaning that in a sec. <clears throat> so yeah so right so we want to try and replace the belt now you can take the belt off here oh, try and get it in the video if I can that might help uh, right so that comes off but you can see it's stuck by this piece of metal here so let's have a quick look there's two screws here. I don't want to take it off altogether. I wonder if I can just undo it. Aha. Does that need a bit more? That should do it. There we go. We can take the belt out. Now, if we have a look at the belt on the card, you can see it's taking an unusual shape. It's not round anymore. So that won't help. And it feels really stiff and not very pliable at all. So let's get some belts and we'll see if we've got one that might be the right size. Where are we? So what about that one? That's a bit smaller. That one? That's a bit bigger. Is it? So that's the original one. That's the new one. It is a little bit smaller. <clears throat> Maybe a smaller is good because it was quite baggy, remember? Yep, I think we'll go with that one. Uh, yep, we'll go with that one. So let's try that one in it. So that's the old one. <clears throat> we'll put that to one side. We'll try this one in it. And there we go. And then it was around the, this side, wasn't it? So, get on there. That's it. So that goes over there. And we'll let it run for a second. So it strains itself out. Okay, that seems to be uh, looking better already. So actually, let's tighten these back up. So we'll tighten them up. Oh, that moves up and down. This one moves it left and right. So let's just tighten that one. That looks like it's in the same spot now. I did notice what it looked like. A little bit of blue paint on that. Uh, they look like they're in the right place. So, right, while we're here, <clears throat> we'll just quickly plug this back in. Uh, we need to see the other side, don't we? See if um, this now turns when we press rewind or play. So, 5.9 volts, that's close enough. Wow, look at that straight away. You can see that going now. That wire is on it still, and it's still going. Very quiet. So uh, we need to stop that, which is around there. 
Now, if we were to fast forward, so I'll tell you what, let's just get, it's really hard to get this to one side. There we go, that's better. So if we now fast forward, that looks a lot better. So we come back, re re rewind, okay, and press play, lovely. Okay, so that looks a lot better. So we'll unplug it again. We'll leave that on because we will be using it. Um, now then, I'd like to clean these switches off here. Now, uh, I do have some IPH, but I've also got some uh, contact cleaner. And I think contact cleaner will work better on that. So we'll just give it a tiny spray. And we'll get a cotton bud. And you can see the deck coming off that. And that's only one side. Now, unfortunately, I can't get to the other side to wipe it with the... So I'm just going to have to give that a good spray in there and hope that that got enough in there to... I hope that that's got enough in there to clean them up. And I'll tell you what we can do. We can try that again now to see if that did clean them up any we'll put them back down to zero just in case it worked or it'll get very loud very loud okay so we'll plug that in we'll turn it to stereo fm it says it's oh i can hear the difference oh don't touch the components with your fingers there we go We could hear the difference now. Much better. Right, okay. So, I dare say these headphone sockets are a bit dirty as well. So, we'll give them a tiny squirt in each. And we'll just... I'll tell you what. Let's turn that off while we do that. And we'll give them a little bit of a clean with them. Okay, so try some of that up. actually taking the dirt off at the same time there you go you can see how dirty that one's got if we can get it to focus blast better look at that right so we'll get another cotton bud just dry that off a little bit more Okay, so, okay, now then, uh, let's have a look at the mechanism. So we have a little bit of grease that went on there and there. So we'll try and clean some of that off. I've got some lithium grease over there I'm going to use to put back. Just to lubricate this a little bit. Now it isn't a squirty can, so I'm going to squirt it just on the card here or actually in the lid of that one and I'll just dump these cotton buds in and use the cotton buds to get the grease on it will spray everywhere so okay so where it rubs is where I'll be greasing and I've just noticed that's still very wet in there let's just clean all that up There 
you go, that's better. Right, now then. So, where there's moving parts there, and for that, I think we'll give that a bit of grease. So we'll get the grease, and we'll spray some into the lid. Okay. Get a couple of cotton buds. And we'll just grease around that area there and where that was greased there. So we'll do that on the other side. Just grease all around there. So where it moves. Okay, we've got so we also won't grease in around here where it moves across that, and just on the floor there where it moves across that. That feels better. Yep, much easier to. Push in, work it in a little, and then on the other side, you know, maybe I could have put some grease on that before I put that back, but it was free running, so I think we'll leave it. Right, um, I think we'll put it back together um, to some extent, and maybe try that tape in it now. So we've got this piece here. Yep. And now then. So that goes inside there, as we can see in there. Okay, let's quickly check so those cables are not getting trapped. Is it? rock in there so are they trapped uh -huh. would they come through there instead no nope, they're rocking there so where would those cables come up to not be in the way so would they be around the motor that side that looks more likely to me so we'll get a cable out that has no need to be there that won't help it go back together that's better right so that's not rocking now so we need to get this back on and Okay, that looks clear. That goes under there first, under that edge. Now, why don't you want to go back? I don't want to force you back. Right, that doesn't seem to. Oh, is it these cables now? The power cable, the power light cables. Look. So. Is it because they need to come further up? They're going to have to go that way because they're going to get trapped around that belt. Maybe that's what someone's done previously when we first took it apart. So that doesn't want to... Ah, that's better. Right, that's clipped into place. Now let's clip this end into place. There we go, that's clipped better together. So if I pull them wires out that side, now where are these going to go? So are they gonna go round? Oh, okay, we can take them around the motor and then in that way. And then down here out of the way. And then we'll get that piece and we'll see if that will go back on now. Oh, 
Okay, yep, it's gone back together. So I'll put these two little screws on the top um, just because I don't want this moving around while we try it. So I'll put these two in there. And we'll put, I'll keep them where they were before, the two in the top. Or should I use that one? Yeah, go on. We'll put one in there instead. I think that'll help pull that mechanism down. Oh, there you go. What have I forgotten? My little play button. Right, so back apart. Uh, oh, actually, I don't think that needs to come apart for that to come off. I think it just needs that one off. And then I think this lifted came off there and then I think it comes off without you having to take that top bit off I think that's what it looked like anyway well, let's see it's not coming away very freely at the moment oh it's that one there you go yeah, it does look so you can take that off right I suppose before I put this back on I could have cleaned Mm, that one's not so bad so we can get some IPA so just isopropyl alcohol IPA 99.8% minimum alcohol and uh, got a clean cotton bud there I'll pour a tiny drop in here and we'll just give this uh, I'll just give this stop button a little clean. Yeah, I thought so. The actual uh, silver, it's actually black plastic, almost painted silver. And uh, where it's been catching, it has taken a lot of it off, as you can see the colour of that cotton bud. It has taken a lot of it off, but... Um, I think most of that black, oh, there you go, we're pulling the paint off now, so we'll stop cleaning that with that, it's a shame, so we'll put the stop button back in there, okay, and then we'll, it was this end first wasn't it, if I remember rightly, yep it was, so we'll get that end in first, and then it's got to clip over that bit of plastic there. It's got to clip over that bit of plastic there. And under there. There we go. That's gone back in okay. Right, that's all clear of everything. Okay, we'll spill the IPA everywhere. We'll put that in there, put that down on the top of there. As you can see, we're not screwed in, that will be okay. Right, let's just pull that back in there. Let's get rid of the IPA a sec. Get that out of the way. Right, okay. So we're going to put our screws back in. Remember the short one was by the battery compartment. So that's the short one there. So we'll just fasten these. Pretty quick. Okay. Take this apart again. I think maybe there's a wire in the way of that screw hole because it didn't want to go and I don't want to pop a screw through one of the wires so we'll just lift this again just double check where that screw hole is okay it's actually is that it there it is 
it's that little hole there so this wire must have been over that so we'll get them down there let's try that again looks like that was the wire the hole for it so i think that wire was over it let's just try screwing this one in first and then you don't have to keep taking it apart there you go that one's gone straight in so we'll put this one back we'll put this one back in now if you watch my um sony fx412 uk video uh the tape i've got there because at the moment that is still apart from the fostex which i uh, will be doing a video of soon that is the only recorder i had so if this does work there'll be some wire one flitter on this but i've just seen that that wheel is very dirty so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some more of this isopropyl which i like spilling and we'll get a little tiny cap of that tiny bit in the cap there you go and i think what we'll do is we will press play on that when we put it to tape like so press play and you can see that wheel is now turning this wheel just here so what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple of cotton buds we'll put some isopropyl hole on it and i'm just going to hold it against the wheel itself so just let it work in wow that's some of it so we'll get it wet again We'll just give that a good clean. A bit more even. Probably the rubber disintegrating as well. And while we're here, I'm just going to give this head this tape had a tiny little clean there we go we'll get another cotton bud dry it off there you go works okay so moment of truth does it work now if we have a look on the top it says directional plate is that way so your tape should be so that should fill up as far as I remember, that's how it is. So we'll press play first. Oh, and as you can see, the tape is now spinning lovely. So let's get this plugged into headphone socket A. Turn the power on. Turn the volume up halfway. Press play again. There you go, it's working. Brilliant. Now again, that bit of wire and flutter and the tape isn't quite straight in the transport, I assume, because that's not in. But it is a pre-recorded tape from the 80s. It's not a new tape. Um, and it's just something I quickly recorded on with that old Sony FX 412 UK. So, but it does work. Okay. Now I know there's wire and flutter on that tape itself, so I could do with a better tape. Uh, hopefully, when I get that Fostex going, uh, I can do better recordings, and uh, you can hear that playing properly. So, last thing to do is to pop this back on. So, that just goes in like 
Aha, hold on. No, I see. So yeah, you want to get that side in first. And then we just push those two bits in. That goes down. There you go. So we'll just try it one more time. Pop that in. Plug that in. Put that back in. And we press play. Okay. We can fast forward. We can rewind. Excellent. New button works. Volume sliders are working, both sides. There we go. Brilliant. Well, that's it. That's that fixed. So, uh, there you go. That was just a drive replacement and a bit of a clean on the uh, volume controls and seems to be working a beaut. So, we'll just pop that back. As you can see, there's a screw hole that was there. And the only way to hold this in was with a screw. Um, I don't know where the original screw went, but this is definitely not the original screw. So, I do need to find something a bit better than that. When I put batteries in, it's quite tight and it pops that out, even though the screw's in. So, um, that'll be another project, I suppose, looking for a screw. And then, obviously, I'll give this a clean and uh, we'll come back to this and show it working with a much better recording at some later date. Um, but, uh, yeah, so uh, quite chuffed for that. And uh, brilliant. So, yeah, power lights on, look. So it is. And it is. Fast forwarding well. Definitely. Rewinding really quick. Let's watch if it snaps the tape. No, it didn't. It doesn't shut off though. So there you go. Right. Well, that's brilliant. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I can say look out for some other videos. I've got another one coming this weekend where... Uh, I will be attempting to repair one of my Triumph um, colour TVs. Be looking for short circuits on the board and hopefully that's all it is. Something nice and simple like that. Otherwise it means uh, a much longer video. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.